The story of Texas Baptist Committed is the story of thousands of Texas Baptists working together. Thousands who were alerted to a threat, kept informed, and then acted to keep Texas Baptists free of fundamentalist control. Fundamentalists were able to take control of the Southern Baptist Convention because they were comfortable with secular, precinct-style politicking, going for the jugular, as Paul Pressler put it, and moderates were not. In 1993, Walter Buddy Sheridan edited a book entitled The Struggle for the Soul of the SBC, Moderate Responses to the Fundamentalist Movement. Jimmy Allen wrote the chapter on Baptist Committed. He had been the outgoing SBC president at the 1979 convention meeting in Houston, at which fundamentalists elected Adrian Rogers as the first president in their takeover campaign. In the mid-1980s, Jimmy Allen was one of the leaders in organizing moderates to respond. But Allen recounted the story of a group that was slow to respond, having been assured by political observers that the sudden ascendancy of extremist fundamentalism would soon be counterbalanced by the efforts of more responsible elements. What those observers didn't count on, however, was what Allen called the pernicious and persistent commitment of fundamentalists living up to the nature of their worldview. Few moderates, he wrote, could really believe that secular political methods had been adopted and applied. At this point, it's important to recognize that the reality of 30 years ago is the reality of today. In recent years, we at TBC have heard from members of Texas Baptist churches in which fundamentalists have used secular and devious means to install dictatorial pastors and then take the church from the Baptist General Convention of Texas, a leader in starting new churches, providing education through nine universities, and providing services and ministries to Baptists, in Texas, to Baptists and others in Texas and worldwide, to the Southern Baptist of Texas Convention, a fundamentalist convention begun in the late 1990s that provides next to nothing in comparison. In the 1980s, moderates lost a convention. In 2011, we are losing churches. Churches being intentionally torn apart, with members of those churches being pitted against each other by those seeking control. Jimmy Allen wrote that in the mid-1980s, moderate mainstream Baptists finally began waking up and taking action. In tomorrow's Baptist brief, We'll look at a few key events that led to the founding of Texas Baptist Committee.